to configure this we are gonna move inside this proxy settings and here you can see that the export and import options first we are gonna export the certificate from the burp suite and after that move inside our browser on which we are gonna configure our burp we just have to move the settings and after that we will configure it so let's see how we are gonna select this certificate in dr select the folder where your where your certificate is going to be saved so here you have to click on the select option and here i am choosing the desktop and typing the burp dot der remember whatever the name you are choosing the end of the name you just have to type dot der in order to save this in a correct format so this is necessary save it and hit next and close it so after that we are gonna see that this is our burp set to configure this burp suite we are gonna spin up our firefox mozilla firefox and here we are going to move on the settings and after that here i'm typing the network and clicking on the settings and after that here i will select manual proxy configuration and here i will type 127.0.0.1 and port 8080 the reason because of selecting this is due to the interface of the burp suite where proxy listener is already by default 127.0.0.1 and 8080 is the port that's why i have chosen these things and here i have selected ok and now i move on the certificate view certificate and after that import and move to the certificate where we have saved our burp suite certificate open it and click on these both and click on ok and ok so here is the last thing we are gonna do which is installing the foxy proxy which is the amazing extension for firefox and chrome as well you just have to install and this will make things really easy because this will uh, give the option to whenever you want to open it and whenever you want to you want to close the proxy so this is the foxy proxy this is the foxy proxy extension here i am going to move on to the settings and manage extension i am going on the options tab and here i will select the proxies and add one and after that title will be burp the color should be i think green is better than or this one which is my youtube channel color and after that here you can type one to hostname one to seven dot o dot o dot one and port should be the eddy eddy and after that save it so i think we are now ready to see our burp, burps magic let's see that how it is going to be performed i am gonna intercept his own and now i'm going to move on the facebook let's see how it goes here you can see that this is the so here you can see that the facebook.com has been successfully fetched in our proxy tab now you can play with on this request by using sending the request and response and you can manipulate these things headers if you want to install the professional